ください。Hello everyone and welcome back to Janet's Cooking Pod. Today I have another oxtail recipe and I hope you are going to like it. Now to the first step. I've already cleaned the oxtail, the tail as you can see. I've also reduced the fat and now I just want to sprinkle some salt and pepper before I can fry it. Now I'll just touch with the salt. Add some salt. And now the pepper. My pepper is always mixed black, white, red. So now I'm just marinating it with pepper and salt and then I just set it aside for some minutes. Now I'll just prepare the rest of the ingredients because I have to wait for at least 15 minutes for the salt and pepper to get into the meat just for flavor. Now the bell peppers I have red and green. Now we are Thicken the gravy and add some. And now the onions. And now I just want to prepare the fresh thyme. And now it's the garlic and ginger. Now I have all the ingredients ready. We have here red and green paprika. I have some carrots, garlic and ginger paste. I have some spring onions two white onions 
and I'm also going to add some soy sauce and some beef foam. So now let's get started and we are starting by frying the oxtail on the pan first. I just added some vegetable oil. Just wait for the oil to be hot. See, they are all brown and I just need to get to the next step we are just starting the next step I'm using a big pot add some vegetable oil Now I'm adding the fresh thyme. and some black pepper. 
Now I'm adding two spoons of soy sauce. Now I'll add the spring onion. The capsicum, red and green. Now add the carrot. Now I'm adding my universal spice. And now I'll be putting the oxtail. Now I'm adding my beef crumbs. And just turn it. Not too much spices needed. Now I'm just going to cover it and switch the heat to the lowest and allow it to simmer very slowly for at least three to four hours. That's that's our oxtail stew. Now it's ready. It has simmered for over three and a half hours. And I added some more water. As you can see, the meat is falling off the bone. Guys, I just, my meat is now ready and I'm so, so excited and I'm so satisfied with the outcome. It's very soft and very yummy. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you are going to try out the recipe. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. <laughs>